fact, President Joe Biden has access to a couple of new buses known as Ground Force One that cost a shocking $1.1 million apiece. So why is Ground Force One so expensive? This video will detail three reasons why. Stick around to the end to find out what kind of tires this bus really uses. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more amazing videos. Let's get started. Massive upgrades. The first reason why Biden's new bus costs so much is that it has a lot of upgrades, some of which we have no idea about. Do remember that the bus is supposed to carry the president and possibly his cabinet and family members. As such, it makes a lot of sense for it to have been upgraded far beyond the capability of the typical interstate bus that's got your backside aching like it's been grilled at a Saturday barbecue party in the projects. Biden's Ground Force One has updates like state-of-the-art communication technology that let him keep touch with everyone and every agency of note at all times. Also present at the front and back of these massive buses are police lights that serve to let folks know that this is not an ordinary bus by any measure. The buses are also heavily armored and should be able to shrug off all attacks by adversaries armed with anti-tank missiles and heavy cannons. More reports have it that when Biden is in Ground Force One, the nuclear codes go with him. This partly explains why Biden's new bus costs a lot and has so many upgrades, because if it wasn't so heavily protected and these codes fell into the wrong hands, well, there'd be a lot of trouble. That's not all, however. The Ground Force One sports fire suppression systems that would be the envy of any fire marshal, and it's designed to be highly resistant to chemical weapon attacks. Tanks of oxygen for breathing purposes when the air outside is contaminated are also featured, as well as bags with the president's blood in case of medical emergency that necessitates a blood transfusion. We don't really know if the buses have heavy weapons, however, Secret Service personnel in them are bound to have uh, pistols and maybe catapults, who knows. But we're talking about the crazy stuff, you know, like Gatling guns or maybe death lasers that activate when threats are detected. There's no word on this, obviously, but I mean, we really can't rule that out. What do you think of these gargantuan buses? Do they give you the shivers just looking at them, or do they make you as excited as a kid on Halloween? Just let us know in the comment section below. Let's take a quick break here for the quiz. Now, who owns Biden's new bus? Is the answer A, Joe Biden, B, the White House, C, the federal government, or D, the Department of Homeland Security? Think you know the answer? Write it right now in the comment section below and keep watching till the end of the video to find out if you're correct as we reveal the answer. A couple movers. The second reason why Joe Biden's new bus is so expensive is that there are only two of them in existence. That's right. Rather than a fleet of these buses, which would have lowered the overall cost, there are only two of them in use at a moment, and there's apparently no plans to buy more of them. The current buses came into use during the tenure of President Barack Obama, and he used them to campaign in rural and remote areas for his re-election. These buses are perfectly suited for such a role and enable the Secret Service to move with the President of the Free World securely and comfortably in areas where the roads aren't always up to scratch. The buses were bought from Hemphill Brothers Coach Company, which is based in Tennessee, though the shells are actually made in Canada by a Quebec firm called Provost. They were then modified according to strict requirements, painted a scary black, measuring 11 feet 2 inches high, 45 feet in length with 505 cubic feet of interior space, Ground Force One is essentially a rolling house, office, command center, whose look is anything but intimidating. The president needs a bus. The third reason why Joe Biden's new bus is so expensive is he's the president of the United States. As such, he deserves the best that money can buy, and no effort will be spared to provide this. While those two buses of his cost over a million dollars apiece, it bears restating that they were subject to a very extensive list of upgrades, from bulletproof glass to run-flat tires and top-end communication suites. All these don't come cheap in the least and are due to being a person of his importance. And yes, expensive those buses might be, but they do help the president to perform his job better, which means they're worth it. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, the quiz answer. Earlier on, we asked you who the new bus Biden uses belongs to. The answer, they belong to the federal government fleet. Hungry for more so expensive videos? Click on the playlist to the left to binge watch reasons why more stuff, such as the Rolls Royce, so expensive. See you there.